Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will solve a problem on price discrimination. The question is like this. Suppose a monopolist faces two markets with demand curves given by D1, P1 is equal to 100 minus P1. This is the demand curve faced in the first market and D2, P2 is equal to 100 minus 2, P2 is the demand curve faced in the second market where P2 and P1 are prices in market second and first respectively. Let the marginal cost be constant and equal to be 20. So we have a constant marginal cost of 20. If the firm, I will write here, I forgot. If the firm must charge the same price in each market, rather if the monopolist must charge the same price in each market, what price should you charge? We have to see what price at the monopolist will charge when he does not discriminate in terms of price. The options are 43, 1 by 3, uh, 50, uh, 60 or none of the above. Okay. So let us see what we are being given. We are being given demand curve. That is, we are given demand function faced by monopolist in the first market is 100 minus P1. Demand function faced by the monopolist in the second market which is given is uh, 100 minus 2 P2 okay we have to find what we have to find we have to find the price P1 is equal to P2 is equal to the price we have to find the common price that the monopolist will charge in each of the markets that is we have to see what price it should charge when he does not discriminate okay for that, what we need to do, we just need to add up the demand curves of the two markets to get the aggregate demand. Okay, to get the solution, first what we do, we add up the aggregate demands. Let us say D, uh, P is equal to D1, P1 uh, plus D2, P2. That is, we need to act, uh, we need to add up the individual demand uh, demand curves for each market. Okay, so what is our demand curve in the first market? That is 100, 100 minus P1. And what is the demand curve faced by the monopolist in second market? Sorry, second market. That is 100 uh, minus 2P2. Okay, this will be our aggregate demand function okay so i repeat first we need to find the aggregate demand function now since uh, what we so if we just try to solve this will come out to be 200 minus p1 minus 2p2 comes out to be minus 3 uh, minus 3 p because p1 is equal to p2 is equal to p so we can write p here okay so and we can write it like this because q is the function of price we can write it like this now what we need to find we need to find the inverse demand function so we can just find the inverse demand function from this if we transpose this on lhs this will become positive 3p is equal to 200 minus q i repeat here big sinus p1 and p2 are same which is equal to p so in place of uh, p1 and p2 i can write p and p so p minus p and minus 2p comes out to be 3p okay we after that we need to find the inverse demand function okay so how do we find inverse demand function we solve it for p so we have p is equal to 200 now transposing this 3 here this will get divided minus q over 3 or we can write p is equal to 200 minus q over 3 this is our or let it uh, be as it is okay this is our inverse demand function now we need to find the total revenue because profit maximization condition is profit maximization condition we need to find marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost for that first we need to find the inverse demand function after that we need to find the total revenue total revenue is simply equal to price into quantity so we can write it like this 200 uh, our 3 minus q upon 3 and to this we multiply q this comes out to be 200 q upon 3 minus q square upon 3 this is our total revenue 
now we need to find the marginal revenue as we know marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity okay so what is the derivative of q here the derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 200 upon 3 minus the derivative of q square q square is 2q by power function rule this 2 becomes coefficient and the power is subtracted by 1 and we get this 2 here and 2 minus 1 is 1 so it can be written as 2q okay so the derivative of 2q sorry q square is 2q we get here 3 this this is our marginal revenue and also our marginal cost since it is same in the both markets uh, that's 20 so i will write here 20 so uh, profit maximization condition is profit maximizing condition is that marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost what is our marginal revenue this very thing 200 upon 3 minus 2q upon 3 is our marginal cost marginal revenue and it should be equal to marginal cost now if we since uh, the denominator is same we can subtract numerator so we have 200 minus 2q upon we can write it like this I know you know this basic mathematics so I can write it like this 200 minus 2q transposing this it will get multiplied so 220 into 3 so we have 200 minus 2q comes out to be 60 or transposing this here so we get 2q is equal to 200 and transposing this on LHS and rearranging we get 60 here or 2q is equal to 140 or q is equal to 140 hour 2 which comes out to be 70 okay so the quantity q is equal to 70 equilibrium quantity is 70 okay now what we need to find we need to find the price that he will charge in both market states when the monopolist is not discriminating in terms of price for that we just plug uh, put q is equal to 70 in our inverse demand function uh, aggregate inverse demand function so what was that this is our let us say this is one so i will write put this in first so we will get p is equal to we have 200 upon 3 minus in place of 70 i will write q upon 3 okay so 200 minus 70 upon 3 denominators are same we can subtract the numerators as i have told you 200 minus 70 comes out to be 130 upon 3 okay so what is 130 upon 3 if we write it like this 130 we have to divide it by 3 3 4 is 12 we are left with 1 0 comes here 3 3 is 9 okay uh, we have here 1 here we point we have zero or we will write it uh, only like this after that to write it in mixed form this is our quotient q this is our remainder this is our divisor so this can be written 130 upon 3 can be written as q or upon d okay what is q q is 43 43 what is r r is 1 upon d is 3 okay so the correct option should be option first that is 43 uh, 1 upon 3 is the price that the monopolist should charge in both the markets when he is not price discriminating okay so what you need to uh, do in this these very questions first you need to find the aggregate demand if uh, the monopolist does not discriminate then first step is to find the aggregate demand go okay after uh, that we need to find inverse demand function or aggregate uh, inverse demand function okay after that you multiply it by q to get total revenue after that you get total revenue after that you find the marginal revenue okay uh, fifth step is to equate marginal revenue because marginal cost is given us okay here you will get the value of q okay and after that you put this value value of q in 
the aggregate inverse demand function okay and you get the equilibrium price that the monopolist will charge i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like these videos please share and subscribe with your economics friends so that i get motivated to make more useful stuff for you people thank you